What's going on everybody? Connor back at you with another great video. Here um, we're going to talk about kind of finding short plays and how you can kind of predict shorts and, and really know how to easily find them. Um, and, and one of the things that I would say is because when it comes to shorting, you can just sit around and wait for a stock to go up and up and up and up and up without having a red day and then realize that you know it's been going up for quite some time so it's bound to come down at some point right so so that's the nice thing about shorting but really I just kind of want to talk here for a quick second and show you um, this was a Q U R E I actually put this on my uh, uh, short list um, over the weekend on my Facebook group um, called boiler room trading the link will be in the description of this video but um, if you look here right it popped up to a high of 20 and then it rejected 20 as I mentioned in the post and in the analysis on Facebook that we're probably gonna see it come up here to test 20 and then fail get rejected and then you could see it kind of just was playing around kept dropping and making new lows pre-market right and this is where I took my entry see this low on uh, the pre-market that was the low that was my entry point so when I seen this open up, we kind of popped up here a little bit. That once we successfully broke through, I shorted on this candle. I shorted on this candle to break below 19. And as soon as we broke 19, we immediately dropped down to a low of 824. And then I covered up. I covered up a half, and then I let the next half run down to below 18 to cover up my rest. So it was a really really great trade all in all basically all it was was finding a stock that couldn't re that just basically rejected this twenty dollar mark dropped down pre-market came back again to test that low pre-market broke that shorted um, but this is really what it came down to let's look at the daily chart on this right I mean if you look at this daily chart this is the support this blue line it's running up and up and up the price is super extended so all I had to do is just follow cure and say hey you know, this thing's gone up dramatically over the past two days. It's up 40%, or sorry, 60% the past two days, almost 70% over the course of two days, two days of trading, and it hasn't seen a red day. Okay, it's coming, you know, whether it be today or it was tomorrow, the red day is going to come, and I'll just patiently wait for the short setup, and that's what I did. I seen this thing going up two days in a row. It's up 70% without seeing any red. Okay. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna have a, a red day here soon, if not today. And that's exactly what I did. I waited for it. It rejected the twenty dollar mark very simply. Oh, sorry, not there. It rejected the twenty dollar mark up here. Couldn't get through that mental resistance. Took a short and you know covered up right about down here. Um, is where we ended up fully covering, like right in here. So basically, from twenty down to eighteen is where it covered. Actually, it was less than that. It was nineteen, but. You see what I'm saying? You, that, that's the nice thing about shorting is you can literally watch stocks go up and up and up, get very extended from their support on a daily chart, knowing that they're probably going to have a red day here soon. And all you have to do is wait for it to go up and, and find the red day and short it. I mean, I know it sounds simple and it's a little harder than that, but that's the nice thing about shorting. Going long, you have to predict the move. Going short, you already know the move's going to happen. You just have to be able to figure out which day it's going to happen, right? So you didn't know it was going to go up this high this day. You didn't know it was going to go up this high this day. But what you do know is after it went up this high altogether, it's going to have a red day in here eventually, and you just have to find it, and you'll have to know how to play it. And another great example of this is HMNY, right? I know you guys have heard me talk about this one multiple times before, but, I mean, it's just the same as this, right? Stock goes up and 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 everybody thought it would just keep going up for life. And no, no, it's not the case. It's very extended. At some point, it's going to pull back. And all you have to do is wait for the red to start and then you short and then it comes down. So, right, that's the nice thing about shorting. You can see a stock go up and up and up and up. No red day. Just wait for the red day and then short. I mean, look at this day. Look at this day from 30 to 20. It lost $10 in one day. Imagine shorting that even. I mean, imagine if you shorted 1,000 shares short. You could, If you shorted the whole day, which you probably wouldn't do, that would have been $10,000 off 1,000 shares, right? Yeah, that's a lot of capital to be trading with, but, uh, you know, it's just the possibility. That's the nice thing about shorting. So I just want to make that video to help you guys realize that shorting, you can literally just wait for socks to go up, find them at their tippy top, and short them on the way down. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you helped that. Hope that hope that helps you a little bit.